Honus, 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 YouTube. Happy now. All is now. It's a gift to be in the present. First sage signing back in here. Putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You are now tuning into the mind of an alternate moon. Yeah. And Horus will be transiting that fourth house in the sky. Okay, as I make this video. And this is going to be my continuation on, you know, the Saturn placements. Okay, so my last video was Saturn in Virgo. This will be Saturn in Libra. Okay? So let's look here. So here's Virgo. We went over Virgo. That was a sixth space in the sky. Sixth house. Let's look over here. Libra. Seventh house. Okay? Okay, so Libra gets birth from the seventh house. Okay? And, yeah, Libra gets birth from the seventh house. So what is, you know, so when we're talking about Saturn, like I say, Saturn is that planet of boundaries, limitations, reality. Uh, yeah, yeah, obstacles, detachment. Yeah, just based on reality, how you go about gaining some sort of foundation and stability in your reality. Something to stand on, you know? It's a, yeah, your planet of reality, you know? And how you go about your reality. So Saturn will be exalted in Libra, okay? Saturn, Saturn will love to be in Libra. How so? You know, because Libra, let's look at the modality. Libra is a cardinal air sign, okay? Libra is cardinal air sign, okay, and is uh, ruled by Venus, okay, so this will be the masculine side of Venus, okay, so when Saturn comes, when you put Saturn in Libra, okay, so it's like, like I say, Saturn is your planet of reality, right, so, you know, when you put it in this, uh, let's say, sign of, that is more relatable, you know, a sign that is more, it's more left brain, first of all. It's more objective, it's more logical, okay? And it's more geared towards Saturn type things. You know, anything that's left brain and more logical, you know, Saturn can work with a lot more, eat, you know, easier. Okay, so, you know, looking at this, you know, it's just like you form relationships, you know? You can be able to form relationships, you know, and communicate effectively based on the relationships you form, you know, to go about gaining some store, sort of stability in your life, in your reality, okay? And it's like, yeah, relationship, it, 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 it's like, this relationship's... You know, it could be friendly. It could even be romantic relationships, you know. With Libra having that Venus influence, you know, it's just like relationships you form. You know, it's like you have this harmonious, you know, relationships. You form the relationships you form. You you make sure that the relationship, yeah, is, is, is more likely harmonious. Okay, so the people you are forming a bond with to go about gaining some sort of stability in, in your life, you know, it's like you make that, that relationship is strong. It's a strong bond. It's, it's a harmonious, like I say, relationship. And this way, you know, you will be able to take on whatever you got going on in your reality, you know, a lot more easier through communication. Yeah. Through relating and, and yeah, you know, you, your relationships are, yeah, what helps you to gain some sort of stability in your life, okay? And yeah, it's looking like detachment. Yeah, I say detachment. I said uh, uh, obstructions, obstacles, you know, boundaries. I said looking at this, you have the experiences where you will probably have gone through where you'd, you'd have to most definitely you know, detach, you know, because this is about detachment, okay, so like, like I say, that Libra 
is more bent on harmonious relationship. But if you know, if you have relationships that aren't harmonious, you know, with this being in Saturn, of course, you know, I'm talking about a Saturn here. So Saturn is about reality. It's time based. It's what you do to go about gaining stability in based on this time. Okay, so you looking at this, you most definitely have to detach from unwarranted energies, you know, that aren't necessarily harmonious. You know, if if it's uh, you know, not helping you to go by gaining stability in your life. Okay. Uh, detachment. Uh, let's say this will be looking at this. You know, this placement has spells for someone who will be have a really good perspective on reality when looking at the law. You know. Have a just, you know, let's say, yeah, well, yeah, anything that has to do with this Saturn reality base, like, let's say they will have a fair way of looking at, uh, yeah, just the reality, you know, a fair way of looking at this reality would live, a fair way of looking at, let's say, just a fair way of judging, you know? A f yeah, let's say we have a, a, a scenario where, you know, a catastrophic event happens. You know, let's say someone was, yeah, let's say someone was murdered, okay? Uh, and, you know, you know, you're a spiritually inclined being, you know, looking at this from, you know, a four, fifth, six dimensional perspective, okay? So, the murderer and the one being murdered is both the universe. That makes sense. With this placement, looking at this, you'd be able to see how I come up with this, you know? There is no separation, like when looking at the universe. Okay, so like, yeah, you're talking about the universe here. Okay, so it's like the person being doing the murdering and the person murder is the universe. So you'll be able to have some sort of just way and of, of you know, just looking at reality like that, you know, and yeah, you'd be able to be fair when just even, yeah, judging or, 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 yeah, looking at things in your life, okay? And with this being opposite, you know, of my Saturn, you know, it's just like, this is how you can sort of see where, at least from my perspective, where this placement works a lot better. You know, Saturn loves, you know, Libra. Okay, because like, like I say, it's a lot easier to gain relationships to take on, you know, your desires or whatever you want to manifest or whatever you want to gain in your life. Yeah, and to gain that stability in your life to make you have a foundation to stand on. It's a lot easier to do it with relationships as opposed to someone who's got Saturn and Aries. Okay, it was a lot easier, you know. So, yeah. So yeah, communication. This one's key. Relatability, you know. As opposed, let's look at let's look at the uh, the other air sign. Let's look at the the last air sign out. I'm not gonna look at Aquarius. I'm gonna look at Gemini because I've done Gemini already. So I was saying, yeah, this is communication. The Saturn will be communicating in, you know, with beings in their surroundings, people they're familiar with, okay, you know, to gain their some sort of stability in their life. But with this being in Libra, let's look at the trine, one of the trine. Libra, it don't have to be someone you're familiar with. You know, you just gain relationships, um, you just make re harmonious relationships, you just love to relate. Gemini likes to relate, but it's relating to, you know, familiar people in their surroundings. 
but different. That's a difference, you know. Uh, what's the name? Libra. It don't matter. It don't matter if they're in your surroundings. You just communicate and you relate. See where that relationship is going. Is that relationship harmonious? And most definitely, you're looking for that harmonious relationships because you're ruled by Venus. This Libra is ruled by Venus. Okay. You know, one. You want that love. You know, you want to feel appreciated. Okay. So people, you go about taking your tasks with your desires with to gain stability in your life they will feel appreciated and you will feel that appreciation as well okay because it's about that balance okay so yeah first day sign out catch you next now